Hey guys, welcome to new releases for the week of January 13th. I am so sick. I'm so sick again. I'm on the tail end of it, so I am getting better, but I'm gonna keep this as short as I can because the more I talk, the higher the chance there is that I'm going to break into an unending coughing fit. So let's do this. All right, let's just start off on a high note here. What, like, what, what is this? Who wants this? I don't understand. It's from, you find it at Sephora. I don't know how to pronounce it. Kaja Beauty, Kaya Beauty, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. And it is the Roller Glow. It's a roll-on highlighting balm. There is so much wrong in just that description that I don't even know where to begin. Prismatic iridescent finish infused with pink ruby smooth balm finishes to a lightweight powder and of course you can't miss this cute That doesn't even make sense uh, So you roll the sponge over the balm a few times to warm up the formula And then you apply it to bare skin or on top of makeup to add instant shimmer It's buildable so that you can always add more glow and it costs you $28 and comes with two roller applicators Okay, so it's... I'm honestly mystified by this product. I just don't understand it. So you get, like, a paint roller, basically. So if you try to apply that on your face, there's there's no precision whatsoever. It's a balm, so there's a high likelihood that it's just going to jack your makeup up. If you're putting it all over your body, which, I mean... To each their own. To me, I don't feel the need to have glistening shoulders at any given point, but some people really like that look, whatever. You're gonna need an awful lot of this product, and you're gonna paint it all over yourself, and now your little roller thing is going to be completely saturated. They give you two, so I don't know how well you can actually clean them if they're already providing you with a backup. So that's concerning. And then just the, the I don't know, I just, it, it, uh, I don't know. The packaging itself looks like it's gonna be freaking bulky and just a pain in the ass to use and I just am not one bit interested in this. I I don't understand why anybody would really want this or what the need for this is. I let's move on. I, I'm genuinely mystified. Uh Kat Von D Beauty has released some shade and light contour duos. There are three shade options and they are $23 each. Okay, so first of all, Kat Von D, problematic, whatever. We all know this. Everybody has their own opinions on it. Let's move along. Second thing, there's only three options. Light, medium, dark. Did I not talk about this in my last new releases? That light, medium, and dark just really isn't going to cut it anymore. I get that these aren't foundation shades, but I, I think Kat Von D could do better. Uh, the difference between the light and the medium does not look to be anything significant. Again, I'm just going off a promo pic, so I don't know what they actually swatch out to look like. And the deep option doesn't look particularly deep. So I, I think there's some shade issues here. The one positive I will say is that it's a contour set that only has two shades. And that, for me, is very practical. I When I see like six pan or eight pan contour palettes, that just has no need. Like, I have no need for that. Uh, so I will never purchase that. I did have the original Shade and Light Contour Palette from Kat Von D and ended up selling it because I only ever used two shades out of it. So I'm not a working artist. It doesn't make sense for me to have shades that I'm not going to use. Um, but I, I imagine... I imagine that we're going to see this in the sales section on the Sephora website fairly soon. Um, if only because pretty much everything that her brand has put out is already there. Okay, MAC has released some lipsticks, and so far they're only released in China, as far as I'm aware. And I'm not sure why, but I'm hoping that they will come here to Canada, because I would buy this just for the packaging alone. I know that that's very fiscally irresponsible, but look at the packaging. It's... it's stellar. It's so pretty. It just screams spring. It's something that, when I saw it, it would make me very happy. Um, I, I really like it. So this is the MAC Cosmetics and Honor of Kings collection, I guess. Includes five lipsticks. 
um, some of which are, I think all of which are um, permanent shades. So there's On and On, Sea Sheer, which is the one that I would buy because I don't have that one, Ruby Woo, All Fired Up, and CB96. So they are available, like I said, in China. And then Trend Mood, which is where I got this picture, where I get most of my pictures, to be honest, uh, says that they will keep us updated with uh, other countries as they become available. So here's hoping that it comes to Canada. On the vein of gorgeous packaging, let's look at these new upcoming releases from Lancome. Oh my goodness, these look so beautiful, so feminine, so pretty. I, I want, I really want. So there are some L'Absolu Tone Up Balms. These are marble balms in three different colors. And then there's also a Tone Up Tint for the lips. I'm not quite sure. It might be like a sheer lip gloss. There's really no explanation. Um, I don't have the prices either. And I imagine that the lip balm is going to be pricey for what it is. But I just want to look at it. It's so pretty. Um, the one thing I don't really, I can't really get behind are the Lancome Letters in a Jar for the cheeks. Um, I just don't see the point of these. Like, if you have these kind of products in your collection and you love them, please let me know why. Uh, because I just, I don't know, there's like a pink and a highlighty one and one that looks a little bit more brown. So I think they're just going to get all mashed together and just come off rather blah. I don't know. I've never used them, but if they're amazing, let me know. Lancome is also putting out a new eyeshadow palette. I would have to swatch this before I could really weigh in on it because my concern would be that it's all going to sort of look the same. Um, because there's not a lot of difference in those shades. Like there's a pretty pink matte shade and then the rest look like they could be more like satin type finishes, which I'm not opposed to a satin finish like in the crease or anything like that, but I would want to swatch this before I would put money towards it. I don't think I would just order this online, although it looks really pretty and I love me some good shimmers, so I'm intrigued by it. I do not need it. I absolutely do not need this, but it looks pretty. And I'm a sucker for what's on the outside, apparently. Lorac has released their unzipped brazen palette for $25 on the Ulta website. It really kind of reminds me of the Urban Decay, the little Naked Heat palette that they put out with a few different finish options. It's nothing new. It's nothing that draws my attention. I mean, the shades are pretty, but pretty much everybody already has these shades. So I think they're a little bit late to the game with this one, but be that as it may, it does look pretty. It's just not anything that I'm going to put my money towards. Melt Cosmetics is also releasing a new stack, and it is going to be uh, Blueprint, is the name of it, and it's coming in blue packaging. <sighs> limited edition, um, and with their limited edition items, they usually sell out pretty quickly. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not interested in this. When they first started teasing the pictures, they started with the blue shades, and I was down for that. I was very excited about it. I was like... Feeling that like consumeristic anxiety in terms of like, when are you releasing? When are you releasing? I need to get this. Um, which I don't like that feeling, but at least I'm aware of it now. Uh, and then they started dropping the brown shades with it. And I was like, eh, okay, whatever. Um, so then seeing them all together, four of the shades are blue, four of the shades are neutral in nature. If you could just cut the stack in half and just give me the blue shades, I would be all about that life. But overall, and I know how expensive these things are, I mean, I don't know enough to tell you the price, but I remember from previous purchases that it does get out of hand very quickly. Um, I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not gonna buy it. Simply because I talked about Makeup Geek in my last new release video, I wanna talk about it again here. Because they've released three quad palettes uh, exclusive to Target, except they're not exclusive because all of these shades are available as singles. I'm not gonna to spend too much time on this because my thoughts are already in my previous video, but I'm just gonna reiterate, Makeup Geek needs to come out with something new and revolutionary. Come out with a new palette with all brand new shades. If you then, after the release of that, wanna allow them to be out as singles, that's fine. 
but you gotta put something new out. You can't just keep recycling your same old shadows and putting them in different variations in pre-made palettes and calling it a day. That's kind of what Benefit does, and everybody's sort of yawning at Benefit at this point. So, make a geek. If you want to stay relevant, you got to put something new out. You can't just keep doing palettes that are already using existing shades. You just can't. Another lipstick release is from ColourPop. They are coming out with their Velvet Blur. They should be available already. There are 16 shades in here. I do love the Luxe lipsticks. I do. I don't think we need any more lipsticks from them, but I'm not angry about this. I'm not rolling my eyes at this release like I do with all of their eyeshadow releases lately um, because I could see myself buying some of these at some point. Uh, I'm going to call it quits. No, I'm not. No, there's one more. There's two more, actually. There's two more. So one is from Tarte. They have just released images for their Remix Natural eyeshadow palette available for $24 on the Ulta site. <coughs> Excuse me. At first blush, I'm like, what? Color from Tarte. Oh my god. Um, and then you really look at it. There's only four colorful shades. Uh, so it is basically a neutral palette with pops of blue and purple. That's not revolutionary. Uh, so the cover packaging, from what I can see in the image at any rate, looks bright and vibrant. And then you open it up and there's a cream shade, a champagne shade, a bronzy shade, and a gold, and then some colorful ones. They're all shimmery, glittery finishes. There's no mattes in there. That, whatever, I have mattes in my collection, but it's a step in the right direction, but it's, like, especially since the shade names are like, this is it, all in, go for it, happening, hustle, risk taker. No, you're fucking not. You're not taking risks with this. You are not, try again. Like, literally go for it, just go for it. Like, balls to the wall, all matte, bright, neon, can do it. People are going to buy it. I promise. All right. So Trend Mood also posted this picture and it is a question um, that Jaclyn Hill shared saying, what will be your first product with Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics? And she's put in the picture of the little lips and the lipstick. So hinting that it's going to be a lipstick. Well, we've been hearing about Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics for five years, six years. So I could just suggest don't hold your breath. All right, guys, and I'm going to wrap it up there. I know I rushed through this. I apologize for that. <sighs> this cold is kicking my ass. I just, I couldn't film yesterday. Today is Sunday. I'm going to try to get this up tonight just so that I maintain my Sunday posting of new releases, but there was no way I could film yesterday. I, I basically slept all day. So at any rate, you know the drill. Please leave me comments down below. What are you excited about? What do you think is a hard pass? All of that fun stuff. And I will see you in my next video. Until then, just be a decent human being. Bye for now.